Hello, my friends. This is Christine here with day 37 of Moving Forward While Staying Put. Today's topic is all about our mindset, but something very specific. It's about a core mindset shift that can set you up for achieving your vision, achieving your goals, and expanding your life if you choose to adapt this. It is the mindset of and, this and, sorry, of this and. Now, before I dive into what I mean by this and, let me talk to you a bit about the opposite. And it's a, it's a belief that I know I grew up with, I lived for many years, and I have consciously done my best to continue to let go of. So that old mindset is the mindset mindset of either or. You may still be operating with this. You may have been raised with this or seen other people that show up this way. Either I can have this or I can have that. One of mine, when I had kids and they were younger, I felt like either I could be a really good mom or I could be a career woman. I didn't see how I could be both. It just wasn't in my mindset based on how I was raised and the conditioning that I received growing up. It was that either or. Um, with our projects, with your project right now, you might be saying either I can, if my family's home, spend time with my family and um, take care of their needs or I can work on my project. That was one that was a big part of mine even um, as an adult, with when my children became adults and would come home to visit me, I felt like I needed to drop everything. It was that old belief that came up in me of either I'm the mom or I'm the career woman. So in making this shift um, to this and, what it has allowed me to do is to really open opportunities and possibility for my life and for my projects. And in times like this, when we are handed a mandate that says you have to be home, it's easy to say, you know, either I'm going to go do my career and my projects the way I was, or I have to be home. That's simply not true. All right. And that's what this whole series is about, is about this and, you know, being home and dealing with this and being able to continue to move your project forward. So let's dive a little bit more deeper into this and, right? So first and foremost, as I shared, this is a mindset shift, uh, a belief that I can have, take this next step and take care of this other thing. Now, part of adopting this mindset will require you to stretch and grow how you accomplish things. I was one, and maybe you might be too, or might have been, someone that felt like I could do it all myself. <laughs> I could do this and I could do this. And, and that's why it really helped reinforce the this or that because I am one person with limited resources. I have 24 hours in a day. I have so much energy. But when I took it as I was the only one that could do it, then it was very much this either or. As I adopted this and it opened my eyes to receive uh, and, and heart to receive guidance and assistance and support from other places. So when something happens, it doesn't have to put a wall up and a block up to continue to move forward with my, with my goal or my vision or my project. So today, I would love for you to think about and look at how are you currently showing up with the old mindset of either or, I can have this or that, I can be healthy and eat vegetables, or I can, can have uh, you know, sweets. It's not an either or, it's a both, right? Within, within moderation, within um, you know, this, this give and take, we can do this and that. So going back again, where are you in a place of the duality of this or that where you're you're allowing yourself to not even have part of that potential that you are desiring for your life then the next step in this call to action is to consciously say this and 
And, and for me, I had to start saying it out loud when I caught myself like, oh, I can't do that. No, you know, how can I? How can I have this and do that? How can I have my kids here and be able to take, um, get some core things done in my project? And I've been able, for the most part, to make those switches by first adopting that mindset and then opening up to new possibilities. So look at what it might look like for you to adopt this new belief, this and. How can you then show up with your projects? How can you show up in relationship to other people in your life, to um, your vision, to your goals, to your next steps? and to continue to move forward, being open to all possibilities, being open to this being sequestered at home and continuing to make progress, to this new environment that you're in and continuing to um, take next steps. Those are just a couple small examples. The, the landscape is unlimited in how we first hold ourselves back with the duality of e either or and how we can open ourselves up to the bigger um, journey, the wider journey, the more opportune journey by saying this and. Okay, my friend, that is my chat with you today. That's my mindset shift um, suggestion for you today and the call to action to pause and really get, get clear about how you are showing up in your life, where you are using the old mindset of either or, and then what can it look like to shift into this expanded mindset and perspective of this and okay i am sending you so much love i am so grateful that you've been here today and been here on this journey with me as we continue to move forward while staying put i will see you again tomorrow bye for now